welcome to today's video. I am working on a Wii piece that I did on Sunday evening. This is a Nintendo Switch with a, well, a pink Nintendo Switch with a pink cell phone um, and some little charms as well. Something a little bit fun, a little bit different <laughs> um, as opposed to doing some characters that I've been recently doing. Um, yeah, just I was quite inspired by, I think I found someone's Instagram and um, it was actually the very first time I'd seen a pink switch um, and it just inspired me and, and the, basically their entire Instagram was pink technology and pink things and toys and um, it was just pink overload but it made me really happy because it was like really nerdy things as well so um, that is basically what this is based off. Um, I went back to my lineless style for this um, just because I felt like it needed to be a bit more modern or simple. I'm not quite sure, but it wasn't really, I don't know, I just didn't feel like I needed to have all the line work. So I'm really happy with the way it turns out in the end and you guys will see that. Um, but to begin with, we do um, obviously need to do the uh, line work. Um, and I originally started off with the switch a little too sh uh, small. Wait, not wide enough? Uh, hmm too short. <laughs> um, so I ended up widening it and then kind of using um, the controller on one side and then flipping it and putting it on the other side. Uh, I also had to look up how to, I guess, draw how the switch is actually created. And it's quite interesting. It's not actually, um, it's not like, it's not like they've just put two controllers on other sides, like they flipped them, but they're not exactly the same. It's really interesting um, to, to try and figure out how it all like went together but yeah it's interesting apparently though they're not great machines um not like in terms of power and things but like their design and build uh if i'm part uh apparently if you put the controller in like the wrong way it gets stuck and then you kind of like can't use it anymore so i've heard um I was still, uh, actually yesterday I did the Animal Crossing piece and I did say that if, um, I was wondering if Switch are going to bring out, well, Nintendo are going to bring out a version of Animal Crossing for the Switch, which I'm not too sure if they are. I actually haven't looked this up. Maybe I should look it up. Um, because I've just recently gotten back into playing um, Animal Crossing and it'd be really cool if, I mean, I totally would get a Switch and I would 100% get a pink one because um, I missed out on getting a pink Nintendo DS when like when the light came out not the original version but the light version um, which is still like one of the very first versions of the Nintendo DS because they made like a hundred of them <laughs> and I ended up getting black because um, they didn't have pink I think or I wanted to get blue and they didn't have blue either which way I was severely disappointed they did not have pink or blue so I got a black one uh, and, um, I actually don't have that anymore. My brother has it and I'm pretty sure it's like shredded to pieces. Um, like as in the screen is just like, it doesn't sit anymore. He's, he's not like a kid or anything, but, um, <laughs> obviously they don't last, um, 10 plus. Oh my God. It must be at least 15 years ago. No, that can't be right. Over 10 years ago. I swear I bought that over 10 years ago. Cause I was, Oh, I must have been in prime. No, I was an intermediate. So yeah, way too long ago. That's the story, moral of the story. Way too long ago. Um, and uh, my boyfriend has the 3DS. Actually, no, it's the 2DS. And that's what I'm using to play Animal Crossing at the moment. And he has a blue original DS. But like my DS was the only console I ever had that was actually mine. So <laughs> Long story short, basically if they're going to bring out um, Animal Crossing on the Nintendo Switch, which I'm going to look up right now, um, then I 100% will get a pink one because I just, I've always wanted pink technology or I always wanted my own pink phone or I never got a pink phone either. I'm, I'm just on this like pink, like I don't even like pink that much, but it's just such a I don't know, satisfying thing seeing people who have like the pink DS and a pink PS3, a uh, PSP and a pink phone and all these magical things that are pink and I want pink things. <laughs> um, oh my god, I can't spell. Okay, Animal Crossing Nintendo Switchy. 
Ooh, it says rumors. Game to be announced at E3 2017? Question mark. Um, it doesn't seem to be official yet. So we shall see. But I didn't. Yeah, I didn't think anything had been announced yet. So, um, but that is fine with me. I'm happy to wait. Uh, yeah, so that is what I'm working on today, basically, is my new pink obsession. <laughs> um, I have no idea whose Instagram that even was. I don't know if I even followed it, to be perfectly honest, um, or even liked anything on it, which means I won't even be able to find it, but that's fine. Um, also, I was looking up a phone to sort of model the phone from, and um, I ended up going somewhere that wasn't anything in particular. And I've just noticed, again, the iPhone, oh, I don't even know what iPhone it is. It must be the 6. And they have the rose gold versions of the iPhone, and I'm like, oh, I really want one now. <laughs> Actually, my workmate is selling off his 5, I think it's a 5, possibly a 6. Because they're up to 8 now. Are they up to 8 or not? Or 7? I'm not quite sure. Anyways, he's selling his Five, I'm pretty damn sure it's a five. Um, and my, because uh, I don't technically have a phone, I have a, a I'm going to call it a phablet, but it's probably more so a tablet than anything. It's not quite a note. It's like, it's actually a seven inch tablet that has phone capabilities. So basically it's my phone. Anyway, they mock me for it and they, they keep offering, well, my boss keeps saying, do you want a phone? As in like just a cheapy, something I can use for calls at work and stuff. And I'm like, hmm. No, not really. And they're like, hey, uh, um, your workmate's selling his phone. And I'm like, mm, yeah, but <laughs> like, I actually don't mind iPhones and things. I I used to be really against Apple. And I think it's just because it was so expensive. And everyone had this perception that you can't design on anything but an Apple or a Mac. Or, you, you know, you're know, you not a real designer if you don't use um, industry standard Macs. And it's like, well, that's bull because not every company can afford to have Macs. Um, in which even our office has both Macs and PC. So, and I don't think most agencies can afford to have all Macs, but they probably do, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, I just had this really pretentious douchebag of a tutor who basically told me that, um, and we had Macs at college basically, and I swapped the mapping of the keyboards so that it's the same as a PC. Um, and I still do that at work. I work on a Mac, but I switch the keys around. So basically when I come home, I don't have to relearn my keyboard. And it's much easier to remap them on a uh, Mac than it is to map on a PC. So it was just a really simple thing that I just I figured I'd do. Especially back then when I was going home, doing work on my laptop, and then coming to uh, uni and doing work on the Macs. Um, and I, pretty much I still do the exact same thing today, so. Um, but he was just a real douchebag about it and was like, oh, you'll never be good enough, you know, if you don't know how to do, like, if you don't know the keys for a Mac or I don't even know what his argument was, but I really didn't like him. And I was just really like, people use Apple or elitists and stuff. And I'm <laughs> like, it's kind of true, but I am kind of get the appeal now. They are really beautiful and they're all really simple and things, so. I get the appeal, I'm slowly turning into one of those people that's like, man, I could really do with an iPhone, they're really beautiful, but I actually hate the operating systems that they use. Um, they are beautiful on the outside, but on the inside they are really frustrating to me. Um, I, like, I can kind of get over it, but I don't know if I could use Mac systems for like my phone and my computer and things, but um, I guess, I don't know, maybe. I mean, I'm definitely heading towards that way soon so yeah pretty much that's my rant about random things today this is a very short video actually i managed to get it down to 10 minutes which is um really good um so just lastly here back to the piece i'm going through 101 colors to try and figure out what background looks really good with this i actually really like that dark gray but i thought maybe more of a pop of color so going really bright and i think I go back to that kind of mauvey pink mauvey pink like a maroony dark pink um i wanted to go pink pink but it was too much and yeah and it looks really really pretty so here is the screenshots for you and yeah to see some of the final details and 
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more of the series. Hit the like button if you loved it. Make sure you leave a comment below if you've got any suggestions for me. It is very much appreciated. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.